All right, we are in our kitchen now with Troy Isaac, and we're going to be making a, quite a few treats here this morning with Saskatoon berries. How are you? Good, and yourself? Good, ready to cook? Oh yeah, we're ready. Okay, what are we gonna be making today? Well, we're gonna do uh, Christmas chicken using Saskatoon berries as the uh, main theme throughout it. We're gonna do a stuffing, we're going to do a sauce, and we're gonna do a Saskatoon berry glaze. Okay, so tell us where you are coming here from. Uh, well, we're out of Regina, a little town, uh, Southie, just outside of uh, Regina. Um, we're in, we've been in Ontario now for about two years and uh, we're available at uh, Costco and Sam's, uh, Loblaws, Your Independent Grocers, Loeb's, Produce Depot in town, Market Fresh in town. I know I'm missing somebody, so besides you I think. <laughs> so we're basically with, uh, you can get us anywhere. If your grocer doesn't have the product then you know he, he knows us and it goes with any product. If you ask your grocery manager in the grocery store for something, it's his job to get it for you, and he'll find it for you. It doesn't matter it's what it is. Last Mountain Berry Farms. Last Mountain right. Berry yeah. Farms, yeah. Excellent. For sure. that, and I was just telling Troy, I can't even believe I've never tried a Saskatoon berry. Well, it only grows in the prairies. You've never really been able to get a supply of it anywhere in Ontario. And, and right now, you can't really get it in Ontario. So if you were to do these recipes up for Christmas, you'd be the only spot in Ontario yeah. that could do it is in Ottawa. Well, there you go. Something unique. We're going to yeah. get cooking very soon. We're going to get back to that. But first, it's time for our daily giveaway. Of course, all this week, we've been giving away a pair of tickets to the Ottawa 60. All right, we are heading back into the kitchen now with Troy Isaac from Last, Mount, Last Mountain Berry Farm in Regina, just outside Regina. Mm -hmm. Now, just before we get to the dinner portion, I noticed you have a little bit of a dessert here. What yeah. Can you tell us about uh, that? Well, uh, when President uh, Bush was in town November 30th, um, he had uh, all I've been able to find out so far is that it, it was a it was a Saskatoon type of moose, and uh, okay. we actually we're going to be doing one next Friday. But I thought I'd br bring this one in. Seeing so how it was see. relevant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what this is, it's just a whipped cream with folded uh, Saskatoon berry spread in it with a Saskatoon berry uh, spread top on it. Uh, just throw a little piece of mint in it. And that's, this is fresh mint. Smell that mint. Is that nice or oh, what? Oh, yeah. Oh, boy, I tell you. And, fit for uh, a president. Fit for a president. And these are uh, our mason jars off our 454s. Uh, so, you can, uh, these are reusable jars that you can use again. And uh, I've used them for uh, these little uh, little biscuits. Excellent. And there you go. And that, so, that, honestly, God, we'll show you how to make that next Friday. But it is so simple and so quick. Excellent. Okay. So the main dish we're going to do today is a Saskatoon berry stuffing. Mm. So the menu that you're going to have up on your screen, it's going to be a little different than what we did today, or what we're going to do today. Um, the That mess recipe has uh, spinach in it. Well. It didn't, my spinach didn't look so good this morning. So <laughs> You're modifying I, it. Yeah, I'm modifying it. Now this is going to be a, a mixture of red peppers and celery. Mm. And you can pre-measure, but you know, it's, it's just a, a sight. You know, it's, it's line of sight. You, you got enough red in there, you have enough green in there. There's some onion. These are very a mild onion, and I've, I've tasted them beforehand. But if you, uh, you taste the onion beforehand, and if it's the smaller onions, they usually have more bite to them. These, this is a nice Spanish onion, so it's nice and mellow. We're going to put a little extra onion than I'd normally put in. Okay. Now, just to make all that, uh, make all that sit together good, we've got some uh, melted butter. Myself, I like putting, uh, I'll put garlic in this and cayenne pepper, but you know, some people don't like that. Cooking is, uh, you know, about being creative. Use what you have in the fridge. Make it look good, you know. Yeah. And, and don't be afraid of stuff. A little sh shot of uh, pepper and sea salt. That's my uh, newest fad is to use sea salt with everything. It, it actually does taste different. It does. Yeah. I, I, I use it too, actually. It's a, it's really a cleaner like it. taste. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then we're going to use uh, Saskatoon berry jam and this is uh, depending on how sweet or how not sweet you want it you can also cut this uh, cut this stuffing with uh, a lemon okay. rind right. or uh, an orange rind so contrast uh, yeah flavors. yeah it'll uh, you get you have sweet well you only have so many things to work with when you're cooking you have sweet you have hot mm -hmm. uh, you have a sour taste so we're gonna mix all that together okay so this is gonna be our stuffing 
I think I'd probably use a little more Saskatoon, but you're getting the idea for yeah, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. That's a great idea. I never yeah. would have thought to put the jam in there. And and look how festive that's that actually is. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, our jam has whole berries in it, so you can see the whole berries through it, and they'll stay like that. Saskatoon berries are a pretty meaty type of berry. They're uh, a good source of iron, calcium. Uh, the, the carotene levels in them are very high, so they're very good for an antioxidant as well. They're up there with the blueberries and whatnot. So what's the uh, so we step? What's the uh, butter glaze that you're going to do? Uh, we're going to do a Saskatoon butter glaze, and I'm just going to get this stuffed okay. real quick here. I'm sparing you all the messy spots. You, you notice that? Huh? <laughs> I rolled up my sleeves. <laughs> I, I was ready that. to get in there. And like, don't worry, yeah, I'll do it for you. Yeah, I'll get the, I'll do the messy part, and okay. we're just going to skewer this guy up real quick. Okay. A little extra quick. There we go. Okay. okay, so that's sealed up. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of our butter. Okay. Now, I'd heat that up in the microwave just a little bit, but mm -hmm. we're not going to take the time to do that. Mm -hmm. We just have about 10 seconds left. Okay, and add some uh, Saskatoon berry jam to it. Okay. Mix this up nice. Now, if you throw this in the uh, microwave a little bit, yeah. it'll soften up. And uh, there's two ways of uh, doing the chicken. Is one underneath the skin. What'll happen there is when it cooks, it'll all, the skin will pull back and expose the uh, meat brown, so it'll brown. Mm -hmm. And the other way is to leave it intact, put the, uh, put the uh, glazing on the outside. Great tips. Yeah. Thank you very much, well, Troy. thank you. Last Mountain Berry Farm. Look Merry for them Christmas. in your local grocery store. And yeah, Merry Christmas. It's going to be a great <laughs> feast. <laughs>